Hello and welcome back to Nat Chat. I'm Mirella Rich. If you've just joined us, we're here with Sandy Greenwood, who is starring in the feature film Little Black Dress. Welcome back to the program, Sandy. Thank you. And before the break, we were talking about your um, studies and background. You also went to LA and New York and did some courses there. Can you tell us about those? Yeah, sure. Um, in 2006, I got a grant through the Australia Council to study over in New York at the Atlantic Theatre Company. Wow. Uh, it's the practical aesthetics course over there that I just thought it, the technique itself really appealed to me because mm. it was all, the whole premise is that it's not about you, it's about what the actor gives you and how you react to what the other actor gives ah. you. So it really pulls you out of your head and I was kind of struggling. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, so I thought, I think I really would benefit from that. Mm. So I got a grant, which I was very grateful mm -hmm. for. Yeah. yeah, and did the six week intensive course over there. And where were they giving out that grant? Was that something you'd heard through some, someone else or was um, a lot of people going for it? Or Yeah, it's a skills and arts, a skills and arts development Gee. grant for, you know, for that. artists who, yeah you know, want to study, further study and um, over, you know, overseas and what yeah. have you. So I, yeah, I went for it and I got it. Which and it doesn't include the airfare, does it? Um, well, you kind of just apply for a whole a bunch and they just give you the yeah. amount that they can afford. Okay. So I got some money through them and I got some money through the Ian e. Potter Fund oh, in Melbourne. Beautiful. Yeah. So off I went in 2006, yes. my big, my first big overseas trip. Yeah. And um, stayed in Harlem in the projects. Oh, wow. It was really awesome, very yeah. interesting, and um, did the course every day. And yeah, it was really, really intense. Like yeah. I hadn't worked that hard ever, I don't think. And how long did you say that, or did you say the course went for? Six weeks. Six weeks. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, did, it was kind of movement and voice and script analysis and performance, and so it was very kind of structured and. Yeah, six weeks was over before you knew it, and yeah. I got some really, really good feedback from the from the teachers, and um, yeah, it just felt like I've developed some great skills, and reaffirmed what I already knew. And then I went over to LA, and yeah. I did a course um, with the Lewis Smith Acting Academy. Yeah. So I was focusing particularly on TV acting techniques. Yeah. Because obviously my background was predominantly theatre. Yeah. I thought I really wanted to learn you know, the camera, all about the camera. And do and they talk about like taking it down a few notches? Yeah. The theatre, you're like really yeah. explosive and explore. yeah, yeah, that's what I did too. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I did, had to learn that, you know, mm. pull it back and just camera angles and, you know, all of that. So, and, you know, I was doing the course with already working American TV actors and, you know, big name casting directors would come in and give feedback. And Great. so I was like, felt really surreal, but yeah. really awesome as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I just wanted to focus on the actual technique. And so I just, you know, did the Australian accent the whole way through and, you know, the teacher was, you know, going, come on, that accent's just so bad on the ear, come on. I was like, nah, I'm an Aussie and this is how I'm doing it. It was awesome. So, yeah, so I stuck true to my Aussiness. And, it's um, so funny because I, I went to this place and I met this American and she was saying to me the opposite. She goes, I could listen to you read the telephone book. She really? Yeah. <laughs> no, most people do over there. Like, oh, you're an Aussie. It's amazing. I love it. But this, yeah, this teacher had to use Well, for it. acting, I suppose, for, even with their films, they like to put the American accent yeah. on, on you, some of the Australian films. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so from those two courses just really invigorated me and inspired me, and I learnt a lot. So, yeah. Um, and you're in good hands too, weren't you, with people that were experienced, they're already yeah. in the business. Yeah. So you're getting first hand information of how it really is. Yeah, which is like great. It's so fantastic. Enriching. Just yeah. telling it how it is. And you know, I just I got the feedback, you know, obviously you're really you're a very strong actor. You just need to get your visa sorted out mm. and work on your American accent and yeah. come back. Wow. So that was really good. Um, and I made I've met a lot of people and obviously networked a lot because at night you kind of go out a lot at night in yeah. LA and you network. You yeah. just meet and greet and give your business card out. And so I did that a lot Yeah, and um, met some you know, great people and um, met a director. And so I went back to Australia and then he emailed me and said, look, I've got a role for you if you want it. Yep. And so I, I jumped at the chance and went back to LA and, you know, shot this, uh, you know, it was just a small role, but it was yeah. in it in an independent feature film yeah. and I d yeah it was fantastic just to be on set yeah. in the states on a feature film 
you know. And, and what about the accent? Did you have to do the American? Or yeah, I did the American Australian? accent. Oh, okay, so yeah. played an 18-year-old gothic suicide victim and mm. um, put the accent on. It was very Valley Girl accent. And oh, okay. It's really good. <laughs> And it was fun working on that uh, film? Yeah, it was yeah. really, really good. It was obviously a really low budget, but it didn't matter. I just, mm. you know, I just... The experience is the part, Just the really, experience, yeah. you know. I just remember just before I was about to do my first take, I was like, wow, Sandy, this is really mm. special, you know. Yeah. Like, you're over here in the States doing a film, you know. Yeah. This is what I've always wanted. So yeah. I really appreciated the opportunity. And then what happened from then on? You came back to Australia after that? Yeah, I came back to Australia and um, and then yeah, and then I auditioned for another role for the Seattle Children's Theatre Company yeah. when I was in Australia. Oh. So they were looking for Australian actors to do an American production. Okay. And so I got that role. It was the role of a 10-year-old. Oh, so I really? Played, yeah, I played a 10-year-old <laughs> for 10 weeks. That's hilarious. How old were you when you played the 10-year-old? I was like... 25. <laughs> 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 it was real. It was, I just, it was so much fun. Yeah. Like, you know, I played this kind of upper middle class brat, and, you know, yeah. I always picked on the girl who, you know, wore a hair bad and, you know, wore dirty clothes. I was that just, what you played? That's the role I played. Yeah. So, um, I had a lot of fun with that role. And it was great working for that theatre company, you know, like children's theatre is really big in the States. And yeah. It's really appreciated and they get big audiences. So, and, you know, working with a great cast again, so... And were the other characters all 10-year-old, real 10-year-olds? No, no, we're pretending? all... Pretending? Yeah. yeah, like, another actress, she was 31. Yeah. She was playing, <laughs> you know, we're all women playing yeah. little girls. Yeah, I had a part like that once. <laughs> so I thought I'd put my hair in plaits. Did you wear your hair in plaits? I think so. I think you're up in a bun. <laughs> I had a backpack, care, really. I had the uniform. Yeah. I looked the part, you yeah. know, yeah. So... <laughs> Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. So went, you went straight back to Seattle to do that? Yeah, and did that for 10 weeks. Wow, how exciting. And then um, came back and obviously on and off work. Um, I worked for the Sydney Theatre Company after that. Oh, beautiful. Oh, we'll have to talk about that. We'll go to a break now yeah. and when we get back we'll talk about the Sydney Theatre Company. Okay, all right, cool. You're watching Nat Chat. Stay with us. We'll be back with more very shortly.